Hey y'all, it's Kara with Goat Fort Farm, and I wish you a good morning or whatever time of day it is. Oh, and happy Thanksgiving. This morning I came out and checked on the does, and I don't think today's the day either. Um, as you can see from Sugar's Utter, uh, it's just not there yet. Our ligaments are still palpable as well, so I just don't think today's the day for her. In fact, I think Sugar may have short-cycled. In the past, she always has taken on the first day I saw her bread, which this year was July 3rd. But then a week later, July 10th, I did see her get bread by Silver again. So I, <clears throat> I just don't know. I think she's probably due on Monday rather than uh, this past Monday. I think her due date was thrown off by a week because she doesn't seem in any hurry to have any babies. So I think this upcoming Monday will probably be the day for her. And I never saw her get bred again after that point. Emma, coincidentally, was also bred on July 10th. So it's possible that both of them will go on the same day. Which would be very crazy. That would be really something else. Emma has the most beautiful eyes. They're very interesting. They are blue, but they have like a, a ring of almost like a bronze color around it. Like a reddish brown, coppery color. But her udder, just look at her size. Her udder is a bit larger than Sugar's. And I felt her ligaments this morning, and I, I really could not feel them. I should say I felt for them. I did not really feel them. She seems a lot looser in her back end. So, I don't know. I think Emma could go first, which some of y'all were guessing. I think it could happen. Or maybe they'll both go on Monday. We'll see. Uh, wouldn't that be just something else? I do like that their babies are going to be really close in age and... We'll get to play with each other. And then I'll show you this real quick. We put gates on the front of the dough house because the girls were just wanting to sleep out here. And while I love that for them during the day to be able to roam out here, we have seen like strange dogs on the camera and well, you know, coyotes and such are around here, and I just didn't want to risk anything. So yesterday we built these gates or doors to the front of the she shed. That way we can lock them up safe and secure at night, which they really don't like being locked up. But it's for their safety. It really is. So that we'll check on them in a little bit and see how they're doing. Maybe we'll give the turkeys a treat today since it is turkey day here. Hello, you all. Happy Thanksgiving. We haven't checked in on the rest of the herd the past few videos, but they're doing good. <laughs> already, already chewed up one of my gloves when we were working last night. Hey, Shiloh. Shiloh's a good girl. How are y'all doing? <laughs> Trixie and her twins from this past kidding season. Oh, goodness. Tootsie's in heat. <laughs> Rocky's like, you smell good, girl. Mm-mm-mm. Everybody looks so healthy. Hey, Rock. Hello, Rocky. He's a big guy. I love how his horns have developed. He's beautiful. How are you, honey? And he's like, where's my twin at? <laughs> Baby looks good. Ice isn't bread, but Dovey is. Dovey is sugars daughter from this past year. Hey, Dovey. Hey, Dovey. Oh, hey. <laughs> of course, Baby Bell had to get all up in her space. And then Penny. Penny's starting to get her udder. Hopefully, little Dottie took. We'll have to see in about a week if she comes back into heat in a week or two. I hope she didn't. That'd be Cash's first baby's Oh, you gonna roll around? Yeah, I think that's everybody that's bred. Because we have the two at our place. And then Phoebe, Dovey, P, 
Penny, Honey, Dottie. Yeah. Yeah, that's everybody. These dogs are something else. They come out of the woods with all kinds of stuff. Ari's got some kind of jawbone there. <laughs> and she's proud of it. It's about as big as her. And then, let's see, Shallow. She's got a deer antler. <laughs> you can buy them treats, but they come up with their own. We're taking some family pictures. And the goats are loving playing on these rocks up here. You can see we're kind of high up. <laughs> They're playing king of the hill or queen. Look at sweet honey. Well, good afternoon, y'all. It's still Thanksgiving here. And I have a present for our turkeys. Because as you know, Thanksgiving is also called Turkey Day. So I thought we should give our turkeys a treat to celebrate their day. So, this pumpkin actually grew in the buck pen. You might remember us talking about it growing in there. Um, my Nana and Pop, they came by, I mean, last October, probably, and threw some pumpkins in there. And then this grew this year. It is small, but it's a cute little pumpkin. And a lot of times turkeys like pumpkins. So I'm hoping that they like it. And maybe the does, wherever they're at, maybe they'll come over here and eat some too. They're oh, they're in the pen. Yeah. Well, we might have to take them some pieces then. All right, Old. Brett, you want to do the honor of throwing the pumpkin? The yeah, bones. they won't really get it until you break it open. So if you'll, break yeah, break open the pumpkin. No, nah. this is like an extra meal. Oh, broke the skin. oh gosh. <laughs> He's like intruder. You didn't have to throw it at them. You could just throw it at the ground, you know. After he dumped on you earlier, oh. That is true. Earlier, Brett picked up Lord Featherington, and Lord Featherington um, used the bathroom all over him. Ooh, check it out, y'all. Check out the treat. Y'all want some pumpkin? Come on. Pumpkin. <laughs> no? Oh, gosh. Well, hey, how about we take half of that over to the doze and see if they want any. We could take this half. You don't want your pumpkin treat? I think this is how to it. Yeah, they got to give it a try. Right now, they're focused in on their grains. And it's on the ground because they peck so aggressively that it knocks it <laughs> that it knocks it off every time. <laughs> there you go. Yes, your beautiful meal. Ooh. Well, I guess we could go see if the girls want it here. Let's just leave that one over here and see if they end up pecking at it. And then see if the girls like it. Because usually the goats love pumpkin. Did they already get fed over there? Yeah, oh, okay. Why, thank you for doing that. Mm -hmm. We can also check out how they're looking, if their ligaments are any squishier. I still couldn't feel Emma's earlier. Maybe very faintly, but we'll see. So if you saw my little short I did earlier today, which will be yesterday by the time you see this video, um, I do think that Sugar short cycled and so even though I saw her be bred by Silver on July 3rd, which would mean that she was due this past Monday, she was then bred again by him on July 10th. So I think she just short cycled and is actually going to be due this upcoming Monday, which is December 2nd. Which is also the day that Emma is due on paper. No one wants the pumpkin? Just uh, put it on the ground and see. Man, we're going to end up having random pumpkins <laughs> over here. Hey, just like this year. Also, They're not exercising thankfulness. They also have doors on the tea table. Moving up in line. Yes, check it. Doesn't come up if I press on it with all my force, so I gotta figure that out. But, uh, 
they can go through the shortcut in the middle of the wall. Yeah. So what we're going to end up doing is closing up this middle wall. That way we could have separate sections. Say we have a doe in labor. We could have her over here. And then the rest of the goats still have access to this one or vice versa. And then we got that kennel moved back over here with their feed stations on each side. Emma, you look like a pumpkin girl. You don't want any pumpkin? Holiday treat. Come girl. here. Come have some pumpkin. Oh. Nothing. Nothing. That udder is a whole lot of something, though. What in the world? Sugar is still pretty slim. Yeah. Sugar is not interested in having any babies anytime soon. But they're coming. I haven't even been adding more minerals in here because, well, they seem to have excess every day. Which is good. They must be getting plenty. Let me feel her ligaments while she's still. I can feel them there. But you can really see how she's loosening up. But yeah, I can still feel her ligaments. And her udder still has some room for growth. It's going to be huge, I think. Mm -hmm. Emma's such a pretty girl. Well, it looks like the pumpkin I've been saving for them as a treat <laughs> <laughs> was uh, not a hit. But... We tried. Look at how safe and snug they are in their house. Good night, sugar. Good night, Emma. Well, that's it for this one, guys. We're thankful for all of our viewers, and we hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving. And y'all don't forget, if you have a dream, go for it. Bye, Bye y'all.